guys, it's Alicia with your top five today. Today we are going to talk about Prince and his untimely physical disappearance from this earth. Definitely some shady business going on there, but we will save that for another top five. I'm sorry, but a superhuman man like that does not just die at the age of 57. Anyway, I digress. Here is your top five for today. A prince's funeral. Five fast facts you need to know. And one more thing before I begin. If you dig my voice and it soothes you, please click over and check out my band and my singing voice. <laughs> Fans of Jimmy Century, we absolutely would appreciate you subscribing on that channel as well. All right, number five. Smaller venues have opened their doors to grieving fans. Many smaller venues have also opened their doors to grieving fans of Prince. In Petersburg, Virginia, for example, the owner of Johnson & Sons Funeral Home on Sycamore Street opened his doors for fans to come and grieve together. They played Prince's music and encouraged fans to come and share memories of the music icon. Many other memorial celebrations around the United States were planned in Prince's honor. You can check out those events and photos from those events on Eventbrite. Number four, a public memorial service took place on May 6th in Los Angeles. Los Angeles hosted a large public memorial in Prince's honor on May 6th at 5 p.m. local Pacific time, according to Hollywood Take. The Los Angeles memorial was held at the South Lawn of LA City Hall. Thousands attended. The event was hosted by Mayor Eric Garcetti and other public officials. For more information, Google Los Angeles Memorial Prince. Number three, Prince's ashes were taken to an undisclosed location. Prince's body was cremated before the private funeral service. According to Prince's publicist, the family decided to spread his ashes in a private location. A friend of Prince's did say that he never wanted a huge funeral, just a private service, as reported by the Mirror. Number two, in addition to the family, a few close friends attended, including Sheila E. Sheila E., a longtime friend, music collaborator, and one-time romantic partner of Prince, attended the small private funeral. Others who attended included Damaris Lewis, Larry Graham, Sylvia Amos, and Prince's sister Tyka and her husband, Maurice Phillips. All of Prince's siblings were there, except Alfred, his half-brother. It's not known why Alfred wasn't invited, but New York Daily News reported reported that he was hurt and upset over not being told about the private service. And number one, Prince's family had a private ceremony for just 20 people on April 23rd at Paisley Park. His closest family and friends attended the private ceremony. The media was not told about the ceremony until after it took place. Sylvia Amos, who was at the funeral, told New York Daily News that they served Prince's favorite vegetarian dishes, including pasta and beans, guacamole, and sliced vegetables with hummus. They danced to his music and closed the service with Purple Rain. She said they projected his silhouette onto a wall and the mouse cursor formed what looked like a teardrop on his cheek. She thought the image was haunting and touching. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and stay tuned. We've got lots more prints for you in store. Let me know if there's something else you want me to cover a top five on, and I'll get right on that. Thank you to our source, Heavy.com's Stephanie Dubay-DeWilson.